YouTube, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to yet another video. Uh, today's video wouldn't really make sense without a bit of context, so I'm here to clarify a bit about the video and a bit about the car, and just give you a bit of a background of it. If you didn't already know already, I filmed quite a few videos in the past on the Jaguar CX-75. It's a car that was made by Jaguar, but never actually made it to production and since then was used in the James Bond movie Spectre. Uh, this particular car you're going to see now is the only road legal and public available car to buy in the whole world. There are certain models, like if you look back on my channel, you'll see a very early concept car at the Coventry Museum, and then there's another uh, work, well, sort of a replica, but the engine doesn't work, and that one is at the Gaydon Museum. And then there's quite a few other cars owned by the James Bond movie company. Uh, there was one featured on Top Gear last week where it's shown the burnt out version of the car. But this is the only one that's available to be purchased by the public and it's owned by Kymans International. It is still for sale to my knowledge. And although it's blue in the video, it was painted for an event prior to Chateau Impney 2019, which is where this video is filmed. So it will be blue in the video, but it is actually the original and official car used in the movie. And yeah, it's a fantastic car. If you look inside, you'll see all the technology that they use for the movie. And at the very end, you'll notice that I tried to get a startup video of the car. It was due to go up the hill climb, but unfortunately the battery was dead. So towards the end, you'll notice that I was waiting quite a bit for the car to start up. And so was many other people, but unfortunately we didn't get a sound clip of it. But a very interesting car, a very special car, very rare car, one of one. So if you own that car, no one else in the world is going to be able to drive theirs on the road, even if they brought the concept cars, you know, they don't have running engines. But fantastic car nonetheless, and I thought I'd give you a bit of context rather than dropping a video saying it's the official James Bond car, but it's blue. It's actually orange underneath, it was painted, but it's back to the original orange colour now. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in my next video.